Hey guys, you're at 100 here, and today I'm going to be showing you a new game sharing video. Since, um, in my last video, um, it's kind of outdated, so, because they've updated the PSN network a lot since that last time, and they made a bunch of changes, so I'm going to explain those changes and see if I can maybe explain a little better, because I'm actually going to game share off of one of my friends to show you actually how it works. And so, um, first I'm going to tell you the basic stuff um since the last time my last video they've updated it so because last time you could have five accounts activated on your ps3 and you could give um a dlc say like uh the black ops 2 i forgot what the i think it's like revolution i think it's called you could give that to like two people but now they've made it where you can only have one or two accounts activated or Two, yeah, your account activated on two PS3s, and they made it where you can only game share with one person. If you download it yourself, it counts as two, but I don't really think you're going to buy DLC than just give it to two people without you getting it yourself. <laughs> That'd be kind of wasteless, but, um, so how you, um, deactivate and activate your PS3, just so you know, and there's a website, say if, um, you gave it to one of your friends, your account, um, and they won't deactivate it. There's this website, I forgot what it's called, but I'll put the link in the description. You can activate, deactivate all the PS, um, all, your account from all, um, PS3s, but you can only do it every six months, so if you've done it once, you got to wait another six months to do it. But anyways, how do you deactivate and activate? Go to account management, system activation, PS3 system, um, game, and then so on. You can activate and deactivate right there. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how you game share. So first, um, make a new account. Just a brand new account. Or user or whatever. And then log into that. Log out of your account. Log into the new one you made. And, um, yeah. Yeah. After you do that, go to sign up for PlayStation Network. And then come up this screen, it says create new account, new users, or use an existing account. What you have to do is go to use an existing account, and then you have to type in their info that they gave you. I don't know if I mentioned earlier that they had to give you your um, their email and password to their account. I don't think I did, but anyways, they have to give you your email or if you're doing it give them your email and password and then you type it in I'm not gonna do it cuz I already have my friends account on here cuz I've already game shared and stuff with them so just type that in it should um and then you type hit continue you should log into their account if not then um ask them if the account info is right and stuff so after you um get that account, hold on, let me log into the one that my friends I'm gonna be using. One second, let me make sure this is it. Yes, this is it. Can't see that. Okay, once I'm signed in, almost signed in. Okay, there. It's logged into his account. See, expert thunder. Logged into it. Okay, so once you go into that. See, it says my account is off on right now. Anyways, once you go into the, you, um, go to, but they have to already have downloaded a game or something. But anyways, go to account management, if you get here, uh, account info, oh wait, no, not account info, my bad, no. Go to transaction management, transaction management. Go to transaction history, or not transaction history, download list, go to download list. After you do that, and it'll bring up this. And then, what you do is just click on it and download it. So, for example, let's download, let me look for something to download. I already downloaded that. I'll just download this Assassin's Creed Do Play Password. Okay, what I do, click download. And it's downloading. And install. Okay, it installed. So I will have the Assassin's Creed 3. You play Password now. 
But, um, I need to mention one more thing before I go. Okay, but, um, I forgot to mention this, but once you log into their account, you go to, um, I showed you earlier how to deactivate and activate, um, your PS3. Go and activate, um, the, um, their account on your PS3. Go and activate it right when you get into it so you can download stuff and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so... That's pretty much it, so if you guys can't like figure out how to do something, um, you have any problems with it, you can always add me. My name is Raider Cole, you can add me or you can just put it in the comments box, message me on, yeah, you can do anything if you have problems, want a game, sh well, yeah, anyways. Um, well, that's about it, so I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.